Section 3.5 using Newton's laws is basically a practice solving problems involving first, second, and third Newton law. In this section, we're going to solve some typical problems using Newton's law. For example, find the acceleration of the masses and the tension in the connecting rope. There are two masses, one 30 kilogram and 150 kilogram, are pulled by 100 Newton force. That symbol mu is equal to zero is a Greek letter mu that is a coefficient of friction equals zero. That means a friction is negligible. We're going to use those examples again on a chapter four, but we will include friction. And you're going to see a difference between with or without friction. For now, without friction, let's start it. The first step is label masses. Mass one, mass two, and then direction of the motion is going to be a positive direction and is going to be a direction of the acceleration. Draw and label the object one free body diagram, so force of gravity. Make sure you label FG1 because it is about object one, FN1. And then tension is on the right and that's nothing on the other side. Choose the positive direction and apply the appropriate Newton's law on each axis. So on X axis is second Newton law because it's accelerating. On Y axis is first Newton law because the object is not moving up or down. So F net is equal to zero or is equal to all forces. Fn1 is positive because we chose positive up. Fg1 is negative. So Fn1 is equal to Fg1. Then we go to x axis. F net x is equal to ma. It is an object one. That's why we write m1a. The force, sum of all forces is equal to F net. We have just only one. So that is equal T1 is equal to ma. And then you follow positive direction. T1 is positive, acceleration is positive. So everything is positive for this one. Next step would be a, a object two. Do the same thing for object two. Draw a free body diagram, label it, and then uh, make sure that you have FG2 and FN2 because it's object two. Then take a look at the object two. There's a force, 100 Newton force on the right, and obviously it's a rope that is that uh, object two is pulling the object one and object one is pulling back so there's a force back and then you can actually choose a direction positive direction direction of the motion and keep it up as a traditional uh, positive direction up because the object two again like object one is not moving up or down so that is a first neutral law up and down that means on a y axis and a second Newton law on a x axis so the f net y is equal to sum of all forces is equal to zero fn2 is positive fg2 is negative on x axis sum of forces is equal to m2 a and f net is equal to sum of all forces which we have two this time FA plus T1 is equal to M2A. Now you follow the positive direction. So FA is positive. T1 is negative and A is positive. So that will be a equation number two. Same step that we learn in uh, uh, 3.2 or 3.3. Uh, you can add those two equations together. Make sure that uh, the tension will cancel. Otherwise, you may have done a mistake somewhere that you missed that the direction. What is left there is FA on a left. On a, a right is M1A plus M2A. You factor A, solve for A, 
and then acceleration is 1.25 newton per kilogram or meter per second square and then you are ready actually to solve for t1 which you use equation number one is simple t1 is equal m1a 30 kilogram times 1.25 is 37.5 and that's it that's um, another typical problem is uh, finding acceleration and tension with a pulley that with the two masses so again that mu is equal to zero that means that there's no friction on that surface between the object with an eight kilogram and the surface so label the masses lab, label the direction of the motion which is going to be a positive direction and that is direction of the acceleration and the same thing that we did before object one draw free body diagram fg1 and fn1 and on the right is tension there's nothing on the left so then you can choose a positive direction and then label uh, and you apply appropriate newton's law so the right newton law actually uh, on each axis again same thing as before on y-axis nothing work uh, nothing is moving for object one up and down on a x-axis uh, you apply second Newton law because the object is accelerating so on a way act on a y-axis is the same as the previous one fn1 is positive fg1 is negative and then for on x-axis uh, f net x is equal to m1 a f net x is equal to t1 is equal to m1 a so you follow the positive direction and that is equation number one and if you compare object one before and object uh, on the previous question and object one on uh, this question they are exactly the same We do the same thing for um, object number two. We know that the uh, direction of the motion is down and that will be a positive direction. Yes, it's not traditional to uh, choose a positive direction down, but it's going to be very helpful. Then you can continue with uh, drawing a free body diagram of the object two with the forces and label them. Make sure you actually uh, use uh, label like fg2 for object 2 and the object 2 is uh, being held by a rope so there's no normal force there so make sure you don't make that mistake it's a tension not a normal force it's a tension the same tension that is uh, applying on uh, object 1 it's the same rope so we have only one axis now forces on a y axis only we don't have anything on a x so you can apply second to the law because the object is accelerating on a y axis then if you see that here is accelerating downward so that means um, uh, F net is Y is equal uh, MA and F net is equal to sum of all forces that is equal to M to A follow the positive direction you see that there are similarities uh, when we solve the problem then FG2 is positive in this case and F and T1 is negative which is equal to M to A and that is equation number two So in a similar way, you add those two uh, equation and you see that T1 cancel. What is left is FG2 and M1A plus M2A. You factor A and you solve for A. So we have a, and you plug those numbers, 15 kilogram times 9.8 divided by 8 plus 15. And A is 6.39 Newton per kilogram. Then you are ready to use one of those equations. The simpler one is equation number one to find the tension, which is equal to m1a 
8 kilogram times 639 will give you a 51 newton. Now for this example, we have three masses instead of two, and two pulleys, two ropes, and everything is labeled, and you can label the masses as well. Make sure that everything is done correctly. So the direction of the motion is direct, uh, it is on a right Y, because 15 kilogram is heavier than seven kilogram, is more massive. So force of gravity is stronger on a 15 kilogram mass than on a seven kilogram. So that's why the 15 kilogram is going to pull the seven kilogram downward. Okay. So as the 15 goes down, seven goes up. So that's why when we're going to calculate uh, and, and solve for or draw a free body diagram for uh, the object three, you're going to see that positive direction is up. And when we're going to do a free body diagram for object two, the motion is down, that is going to be a positive direction as well. Okay, let's uh, let's continue. If you see that there are a lot of similarities here, so free body diagram of object one on uh, on the left is T uh, two, on the right is T one. F G one and F N one, both of those are labeled, and the same way. Choose the appropriate Newton's law on each axis on a y axis. There is no moving up or down, so that means that it's the first Newton law. On a y-axis, is first Newton law is a balance force. On a x-axis, is a second Newton law. So on a y-axis, uh, F net is equal to zero and is equal to sum of all forces. We have just two, and then follow the positive direction. F n one is positive. F g one is negative. And uh, that's what you need for now. F net X is equal to M1A is accelerating. So we have two forces in this uh, case. T1 is a positive and T2 is negative. So that is equal to M1A. That will be equation number one. For object two, you see that object two is accelerating downward. That will be a positive direction. I just explained it. So draw a free body diagram for object two. Make sure that you don't draw a normal force here for object two uh, or three, because both of them are hanging from the rope. So it's a tension that is holding them, not a surface. So don't make that mistake to draw a normal force when you have a tension. So positive direction is down. You use you have just only one axis on a y axis. That is accelerated motion. F net y is equal m two a, and then F net y is equal to a sum of two forces. Sum in this case, then we have F g two positive and T one negative. That is equal to m two a, and that will be uh, equation number two. Similar way, we do that for uh, uh, object number three, FG3 and T2. Uh, positive direction is up, and that is the second Newton law because it is accelerating. So F net is equal to M3A, and sum of all forces, we have just two. Then follow the positive direction, T2 has to be positive, and FG3 is negative. And that is equation number three. So the last step is um, add those equations together. Equation one, equation two, equation three. Make sure that tension are canceled. And what is left is FG2 minus FG3 is equal to M1A plus M2A plus M3A. So you can factor A and solve it. So it's FG2 minus FG3 is equal M1 plus M2 plus M3. And plug those numbers into uh, 
a formula and you get acceleration is 2.61 so you can use equation 2 to solve for t1 so fg2 minus t1 is equal to m2a you move t1 on another side and move m2a so you know how to solve for the uh, or isolate the unknown variable so t1 is equal to fg2 minus m2a you can factor m2 as a g minus a and you can plug the numbers 15 times 98 minus 2.61 so the tension one is 107.85 the second one is using uh, equation three so t2 minus fg3 is equal to m3a now you can solve for t2 it which is fg3 plus m3a you factor m3 that is uh, g plus a you plug those numbers into a formula and you get 86.87 newton